What is up, you guys? It's Violet Telly here, and welcome back to Let's Catch a Vibe. Now, I hope I'm feeling great, feeling amazing, feeling vibey. I don't even have to tell you what, guys, what, what day it is, guys. It is officially December 25th, Christmas Day. Woo! Let's see if we get some juicy stuff in the item shop tonight. So, obviously, again, you know, this is taking us from um, Sunday the 24th into the early, um, early Monday morning of the 25th of December. So, yeah, last night we had some really, really cool items return. We had some more Winterfest items. We also had, if I can find it quickly, not gonna have enough time, but we'll see what we're gonna get tonight in three, two, one, let's go! Very delayed item shop, but we've come to expect that now. But anyway, just to wish everybody a merry and happy Christmas. Hope everyone enjoys their day, gets everything they want and everything they need. And yeah, let's jump straight into tonight's item shop. So, starting us off, we still have the return <clears throat> of some Winterfest items, of course. We've still got the Bundled Up Bundle. We've got the Gingerbread Bundle. We've got the return of Blinky, the Your Trooper, the Gingerbread Raider. We've got some harvesting tools, a glider. We still have the TMNT, which is front and center of the item shop. We still have April O'Neil. We do still have the TMNT Festival um, instruments. Now, someone popped up in the comments and said, what do these actually do? They don't do anything specific from what I know. They are literally just like skins for your instruments, essentially. Moving us on to the Star Wars section, we've got the um, legend himself, Anakin Skywalker. We've got Padme, gliders, harvesting tools. We've got Obi-Wan Kenobi. We have a glider, the clone pack. We've got Darth Maul with us. We've got Mr. Beast with the zany emote. We've got a brand new star for Mr. Beast, brand new Batling, brand new skin for that Harvest and Torn. We've got the Darklands Bomber, which we've got the Darklands Dark Bomber. We've got the Signature Series now, where we had the return of the Dummy Brigade Bundle. So this will have its own Lego style, which again is very, very cool and probably, probably the easiest one to make because his face is literally just expressionless. Um, but yeah, brand new Lego style for the Dummy, or that's been finished anyway. Moving us on to the return of the Fortnite Flare. So we have the Hay skin return. One of my favorite skins. She's definitely in my top 10. Anyway, we've got the Hay skin. A dark star on the rise. Part of the, part of the morning, sorry, part of the midnight star set. First introduced in chapter two, season one. We've got the default style here. We then have the alternate, which is the extreme style. Taking us under the last two, we have the Auric Haze, which changes their hair and their eyes. Also gives us some tattoos as well. We then have, last but not least, we have the Tough Look Haze, which also, not many people realize, gives us some particle effects as well. Very, very cool. Moving us on to the Lego style for the Haze. Again, very, very cool one. A lot of people admire and love the skin. Moving us on to the back bling, we have the Ridge Bat, forged in eternal fire. First introduced in chapter two, season one. So we've got the default style here. We then have the golden talent style. And then last but not least, we have the burnished claw style. Moving us on from that, we have the return of the Galaxy Grappler skin. So starting us off, we have the legendary Galaxy Grappler. Victory from the edge of the galaxy. Again, loving the particle effects on the skin. It literally looks like everything's been sucked into like a vortex. Part of the Event Horizon set, first introduced in Chapter 2, Season 7. We then move on to the Galaxy Grappler Lego style. Now, I know it's not exactly the same, but eh, it's good enough for me. It might not be for everyone else, but it's good enough for me. Anyway, moving us on to the legendary Hands of the Galaxy Bat Bling. How about a high five? Now, from what I remember, this is reactive when you get elimination. So you guys can see the animations that it will go through um, on screen here. So yeah, it's, oh yeah, there it is. Hands of the Galaxy Batbling will react to elimination, so I was right then. Moving us on to the return of the Grit skin, we have Grit. This will end, sorry, the will, no, this will end. The will and skill to outlast. First introduced in OG Season X. Very, very standard skin, but it's cool enough. We have the Lego style for Grit now, which actually looks a bit more impressive than the default skin. I don't know why, it just looks cooler in ninja. Anyway, moving us on to the tomato head, we have tomato head, extra saucy. Part of, part of the pizza pitch set, first introduced in OG season three. We then also have the miniature, oh sorry, we have the ultimate style, which is the crown style. 
you guys know you can unlock through this, this by doing some challenges. I don't know what those challenges are, but for those of you that did it back in the day, you guys don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, moving us on to the miniature, we have the Lego Tomato Head. Again, very, very cool. A lot of people find the skin creepy. I can see why, but I think it's cool. Anyway, moving us on to the last one at least, we have the Special Delivery Back Bling. Keep the change. I mean, hey, if you've got cheese coming out of the box like that, I'm going to keep the change for sure. Or I'll let the delivery man keep the change. Anyway, moving us on to the challenges. Again, we don't know what the challenges are. It never usually lets us see what they are, but they're there and you can unlock an alternate style. Moving us on to some emotes that will work with the Lego styles. We have the shanty for a squad. Keep the tempo and catch the wave. Moving us on to the phone in emotes. Lay down a sexy groove. Moving us on to last but not least, we have the rock out emo. Are you ready to rock? Pop the volume 11 set, first introducing OG season three. Moving us on to the bottom now, brand new last night, we had the brand new Lamborghini Huracan STO. Now I did do it, is or is it not worth it from the video on this that you can check out on my, um, YouTube, really, really cool. I mean, again, it's Lamborghini, so they're gonna ask for a bit more than the standard price. But, again, if you guys would have already obtained this, if you bought it in the um, Rocket League um, game, so you guys would have had this ported over for free. Moving us on, we've still got the Diesel, the Cyclone, we've still, got your, we've still got your boy The Weeknd. We don't have any new jam tracks at the moment, but again, we've got enough here to filter through. Moving us on to the gear for a festival. Moving us on to the bottom now, bottom now we have we have some special offers and bundles. So we have the brand new Fortnite Gilded Elite pack, which has brought Midas back, but in a fish form, which again, we'll take Midas whichever way we can get him at this point. Anyway, I have already covered this in its own is it, is it not worth it bundle video, as well as the um, Rogue Scout pack. Really, really cool. A lot of people are a bit iffy on this. Um, especially we're doing the save the world challenges some people can't be bothered to get to get there to get them and some people just want them straight away you know it, it is what it is essentially they're making it so you can earn your money back some some of it not all of it for what you've paid for it but i don't know some people like it some people don't now moving us on to brand new we have the dragon ball freezer and cell bundle <laughs> one of my favorite villains in all of anime has to be Cell. Now, I know we didn't see much of him, but second to Cell is Frieza. So, jumping straight in, we start ourselves off with Frieza. An evil emperor being, uh, an, uh, an evil emperor being, being conspiring to take over the universe. So, as you guys can see, I don't need, I don't need to give you any introduction. You guys know Frieza. You know we have the first form, we have the fourth form, and then last but not least, we have Golden Frieza. Moving us on to Freezer's back bling, we have Freezer's pod. Used by Freezer as he conquers planets across the universe. <laughs> Moving us on to my boy, my boy Cell. So, he only has two forms, which eh, I kind of feel a bit, you know, funny about. I think they should have given him all his forms, but never mind. We'll take what we can get. Anyway, we have Cell, the most dangerous android of all the Dr. Jero's creations. So we've got the default here. We then have the alternate, which is the perfect form cell. Now again, a slight nitpick, I would want his actual skin to have like an, um, a reactive style. So we get like electric around him or lightning, whichever way you call it. Just a powered up perfect cell. Well, again, that's a small nitpick. Anyway, moving us into cells back bling, we have cells shell. If you guys remember, this is what cell hatched out of when he come out of the um, time check. Um, um, What's it called? Time machine? Anyway, the shell that Cell shed and left near the time machine. I could have literally just read the description and it would have told me. But anyway, I'm excited, so leave me alone. Anyway, moving us on to the Freezer and Cell bundle. So starting us off, we have Freezer's spaceship staff. Freezer's spaceship in a miniature. I mean, again, no problem with this. It does look like a giant rattle though, not gonna lie, but let's see this for animation. Nice, love that nice little particle effect there. Moving us on to the cell's egg shell. The egg shell, cell hatched from. Oh, 
Let's see the swing animation. This looks amazing. Again, loving the nice little uh, particle effect there. Moving us on to a glider, which is going to be a circle glider. We have Freezer's spaceship. The spaceship that Freezer Force, sorry, yeah, the spaceship that Freezer Force used to invade the planet Namek. <laughs> really, really cool. Moving us on to last but not least, he needs no introduction as well. Baba Yaga, the man himself, John Wick, is still with us in the item shop. But anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. If you didn't enjoy the video, let me know in the comments down below why you the video. Also, let me know who is your favorite Dragon Ball Z villain. Is it Cell? Is it Freezer? Or is it Margin Boo? Also, everybody have a merry and happy Christmas. Like I said, hope everybody gets what they want. And this is literally a gift in itself. The geekdom is getting Dragon Ball Z on Christmas. What more can you ask for? But anyway, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and join the next catch of vibe. Also, if you are new, please don't forget to switch on the bell notifications to get notified when I upload. But more importantly, don't forget to stay vibey. <laughs> Monkeys. Peace.